Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with the four case break of 2019 Gold Rush Autograph Baseball Series 1. This is 32 autographed baseballs. This is a pick your player break. And you can get players like this. That'd be pretty cool. Current stars. Those are all nice. And inscriptions as well, which would also be cool. So big thanks to all of these people here who picked their players. So these are all alphabetically ordered by player. Just so I can get this on camera, on wax. If you see that little rooftop next to your name, like Rogelio's Chris Bryant right there, you got that in one of our player randoms. There's another page here? Aw, oh, come on, printer. <laughs> it's a waste, waste of a page right there, but some couple good players right here. Also, um, old TJ, our friend TJ has uh, offered a Herzog Hitless promo. So thanks, TJ. If Stephen K, who bought Whitey Herzog straight up, if he goes Hitless, then TJ will provide you with an autographed Whitey Herzog baseball. Courtesy of TJ. Thanks, TJ. All right, so let's do this. Here is case number one. There you are right here. There's the Gold Rush label. All right. Good luck, everybody. What's going on here? Oh. This one has the name on the back of it. So we got lucky here. Let's see if you guys can guess the, uh, it's pretty easy, right? Any guesses on this? Hall of Fame in 1974. He is still alive. He's 90 years old right now. Yeah, it's pretty easy, right? Yeah, Stephen K's got it. Whitey Ford. There's the JSA card down here, and I'm sure there was a JSA sticker on here. There it is. All right, how am I going to do this? I just... Post it, note it here. All right, so Whitey Ford, that's going to go to Ed Aarons. And he got the, uh, he got Whitey Ford from a player random. Nice. All right, next one. Taz, will the name always be on the back of the box? Yeah, Ryan Cruz. I didn't. I didn't realize. I, I looked them up. I thought I was watching some videos where some of them didn't have. I don't think all of them have the name on the back of the box, but I hope they do. Make life a lot easier for me. All right. Oh, this has a name on the back of the box too. All right, this one is, this one's also pretty easy. Hall of Fame, 
baseball. And we've got this person's autograph on there. There is the JSA right here. The JSA card right here. There you go. Yep, Dennis, Phil, and Negro. Stephen K's got it as well. Wait, Stephen K, don't you have Phil Negro? Yeah, you got Phil Negro in a team random. All right, next one. This one also has a name on the back of it. Uh, who am I? Who am I? Center fielder for the Yankees back in the 1930s. Paused for World War II, came back and played through the rest of the 40s to the early 50s. 13-time All-Star, 9-time World Series champ, 3-time AL MVP, 2-time AL batting champion, 2-time AL home run leader, MLB record 56-game hitting streak, his number 5 retired by the Yankees, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1955 with 88.8% with of the ballot, his third ballot, Lifetime 325, over 2,000 hits, 361 home runs, 1,500 runs batted in. <laughs> it's Jolton Joe DiMaggio. There he is. We found him. Paul Simon was wondering where he was. There he is. There's the JSA right here. We got some additional paperwork in here too. What do, what do, we, what do we have here? Oh, there we go. We got a letter, letter of authenticity right here as well. Got all, got, got all the info there. Now, who got Jolton Joe? Is it Stephen K? Yeah, Joe DiMaggio going to Stephen Kendrick who's freaking out in the chat right now. That is nice. He got randomized Joe DiMaggio in that filler, in that team random. There you go, Jolton Joe in there. That is awesome. All right, what next? That was just the third baseball of 32. Yeah, he had a 56 game hitting streak. Do you think that, think that ever, does that record ever get broken? All right, there's a name on the back of this one. This should be pretty easy. Hall of Fame in 1997. I think I learned just today. I think I learned just today that Tommy Lasorda is, uh, there's the PSA right there too, that Tommy Lasorda is the, um, Oldest living Hall of Famer right now. Oldest living Hall of Famer. Tommy Lasorda goes to 
That's for Jonathan Stevens. So from Stephen K to Jonathan Stevens. How old is Tommy? I think he's like 91. I think he's 91. But but Tommy Lasorda is, is is pretty active. I think he was at Adrian Beltre's uh, number retiring ceremony. So that dude still travels and everything too. All right. So got another name on the back here as well. Ooh, any guesses there? The name's on the back. There's the JSA there. The JSA card in there too. Any guesses on that one? Not Stan Musial. Not Eddie Matthews. I'll take one more guess. We've got a lot of baseballs to get to. Not a clue. All right. It's... Starling Marte, and that goes to Boombox, who got randomized Starling Marte. There's the JSA card in there as well. Next box. Oh, Nick ended up did end up getting it. Yeah, it is Arlene Marte. Nick Jaspi. All right, there's the next guy. Any guesses there? We got the Beckett certificate there, and the Beckett sticker should be right back there. Any guesses? Oh, I should be writing down this name while I. While people are guessing. Um. Yes, Jake. This ball goes to you, and he got it. It's Jose Ramirez. I think Nick Jaspi got it too. J Ram. Do they call I don't think do they call him J Ram? Alright, so that goes to Jake Reams with the Jose Ramirez. Next one is Everyone knows this one, right? There's all the JSA stuff there. There's the JSA sticker there. Who bought this player? All right. Yep, yeah, that was an easy one. Robert Rohr, Dennis Moore has got it. Tom Glavin. I think Logan got it too. He, he said Glean. 
missed the gav. The av part. All right, Jonathan Stevens with the Tom Glavin. And one more out of the first case. And we got three more to go. So it's not over yet. These boxes are really tough to open. There we go. This one's easy too. I think everyone everyone can everyone should be able to get this one. There's the JSA down there. They give you a nice acrylic box here too. I like that. And it's Rolando Lewis with the Wizard, Ozzy Smith. Yeah, that was a pretty nice case. Let's hope this can deliver some of the same. Any guesses on that one? There's the MLB hologram right there. That is correct. That is UCLA's Garrett Cole. And that goes to James. James Schisler with this one. Congrats. Just, there's the JSA card there. And we already saw this one. It's Tom Glavin. Yes, there can be repeats, of course. So that's the second one for Jonathan Stevens. Yeah, that trade to the Astros for Garrett Cole, what a steal. What a bargain. Who did they give up for him? Like, Musgrove? Musgrove and a couple others? Prospects, maybe? There's the JSA card right here. That's an easy one. And Jimmy Brandt picked up Robin Yao. Let's 
says Yount on the back right here. Easy. Oh, it was Colin Moran and Joe Musgrove, right? And someone else is Nick Jaspi. Yeah, he has an incredible auto. One of the nicest autos in the hobby, Robin Yount. And Colin Moran's hitting pretty well. Musgrove is doing okay. Well, I guess it wasn't, it wasn't a horrible deal. Not the worst deal in the world. Ah, I think everyone's going to be able to get this one. There's the Beckett card back there. And Beckett sticker right there. I think everyone should be able to get that one. Yep, it's peanut butter Grego time. Grego with the Juan Soto. Nice O. Next one. Good luck. This is just uh, only halfway through case two. We got two more cases to go. And it's. Huh? Any guesses there? This is a little bit more difficult. There's the Beckett card. There's his autograph. There's the Beckett sticker down there. Not Yaz, not Kershaw. TJ's got it. It's Carlos Pena. And that goes to Stephen K, who got Carlos Pena in a player random. It kind of looked like emojis on their autograph. A lot of, lot of flair on that autograph. has a JSA in here and we've got oh I know who that is there's the JSA there to write on this this block. Yep. Robert's got it. Mark Adamson's got it. TJ. That that's right. Herzog. Uh, Hudy's got it earlier. Nick J. Who was who is above Nick J. Hudy. Colombrito got it too. Nice. Yep. It's another one for Stephen Kendrick. No, uh, that doesn't drop until tomorrow, Rolando. So it can't happen tonight. Yeah, the cases are really nice too. Nick Nick Jaspi's pointing out that those UV these UV cases are really nice.
Everyone should know this one, I think. So unfortunately, you didn't go hit list, Stephen K. So you can't get uh, the Herzog ball courtesy of TJ. Now let's save that for another rainy day, TJ. I appreciate it, though. All right, who got this player? Oh, okay. There you go. Robert Rohr got it. Mark Adamson, Rex. TJ, etc., etc. Frank Thomas, the big hurt. And the last box out of case two. Then we have two more cases to go. I love this stuff. for some reason. JSA. Ooh. Black baseball gold ink. That is nice. has any guesses? Nick Jaspi is right. It's Barry Larkin. And that's Kenny who got the Barry Larkin in one of those player randos. Nice. Robert Roar's like, holy cow, I need a Phil Rizzuto. Well, we still have 16 autographs to go, Robert, so not, not, not time to panic just yet, or even in the first case either. But remember, folks, only 32 autographs. 90, almost 100 names on this, on this list here. 98 players on this list. It's going to be tough to hit. And everyone should know this autograph right here, right on the Hall of Fame baseball. There's the JSA sticker down there. Most everyone should know this autograph, right? Yep, Mark Adamson, Robert T. Uh, no, not Dawson, Randy Johnson. Yes, Robert and Mark Adamson have it. And that goes to John Gotti. There you go, John.
Uh, Randy Johnson, a photographer now. A nature photographer, or a landscape photographer, I think. Um, I think I think birds know about him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know this one. Any guesses there? Oh, now that I read the autograph. It makes sense now. Any guesses on this one? There you go. Mark Adamson's got it. Josh Bell. Yep, TJ Dennis has it too. There it is. That goes to Jeff. I couldn't identify it for a second. Yeah, Josh Bell is raking. Nick Jaspi saying he's hitting 324, 18 home runs. Look at this. Another Frank Thomas. That is strong. There's the PSA DNA right there. There's the sticker on the back right there. That's a second one for uh, Cody Passmore with Frank Thomas. The JSA right here. We have. Well, that's pretty easy, right? There's the sticker right there. And that is for. Joe P. There you go, Joe P. He had John Smoltz. Uh, he picked him straight up. There you go, Joe P. Nice. Thanks for getting in. Nice clean autograph right there. Everyone should get that one. There is the GA, Global Certified Authentic. And that Stan Musil goes to Jonathan Stevens. Nice.
That's the only, that's the first one I've seen. And you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> boxes are pretty hard to open. There's the JSA down there. And who am I? Actually, I don't. But did you see the ball I got you, more importantly? Who says Joe P doesn't hit? That's right, Mark Addison, the Hawk. That's right. Rex, TJ, everyone's got it. Daniel, Robert, Stephen K. That's for Lou. All right, Lou Reeves with the Hawk. There you go. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome, Joe P. Appreciate you getting in. See, proof. Proof that Joe P does hit sometimes at Jaspies. All right, so now tell me about... Well, now now you can tell me about the uh, what's what's the deal with these with that company? Yeah, definitely one of the nicest autographs in the hobby. And and you're right, Mark Adamson. It's consistent too. I've seen I've seen early autographs of his autographs on 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 photos on baseball cards on baseballs anywhere, and it was. Uh, and it always looks that nice. All right, there's the PSA DNA. Any guesses there? Wait, was there? Oh yeah, there was. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, for that Stan Musial ball. There was a, uh, I missed that JSA sticker all the way over there. So V11097, V11907, 11097. There you go, good eye, Daniel. See, forget those other guys. There you go, Jonathan Stevens. This, Stan Musial, is, uh, <laughs> that, this is Don Zimmer. back to Jonathan Stevens. Don Zimmer goes to Ryan L. <laughs> yeah, disaster averted, Joe P. Good eye, Daniel. All right, 
Uh, and there you go, Ryan. That's auto save. All right, you're welcome, Ryan. Yeah, honestly, I yeah, I didn't even I wasn't paying attention either, Joe. I just kind of saw the first thing I saw and I was moving on. All right. There's the JSA card here. And I think this is a relatively easy one. Yep, Joe P's got it. The Eck, Dennis Eckersley. And that goes to Mike Grego. It's Grego time. What time is it? Grego time. What time is it? Grego time. Any Gregos in the house? Woo, 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 woo. The final eight autograph baseballs. Believe it or not, folks, we do have some more of this. So keep an eye out for another break. I don't know how we're going to configure it, or maybe we'll have some in mixers or something like that. So keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com for more. Okay. I think this everyone should be familiar with. Yep, Nick J. Joe P got it. Wade Boggs, the chicken man. A great uh, non-family friendly show, but a great episode on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. One of my favorite shows. Jimmy Brandt with Wade Boggs, Boggsy. And the next one, yeah, it's a classic Sunny episode, is this guy. Who's this guy, Rex? You have any guesses on this one? There's the hologram sticker right there. <laughs> OMFG says Rex, we did it at long last. A Nolan Ryan autograph for Rex inscribed. Yeah, seven no hitters. If you couldn't read the name, the seven no hitters should give it away. He's got his own hologram sticker too. Nice.
Boom. Congrats, Rex. At long last, <laughs> Rex always tries to chase Nolan Ryan in all of our breaks over the years. Have we pulled you one at all? Rex has been hanging with us for years now. I don't think we've ever pulled you one, right? This is this is Rex's like favorite player. I don't know, I got him in got him in tears. Got the Steiner card. Does not look like his name. <laughs> There's the Steiner sticker right there. And the MLB hologram sticker too. Yep. Nick J, Mr. LA, Joe P, Daniel. They got it. Mark McGuire, Big Mac. That's another one for Jonathan Stevens. Nice. Wow, Nick J is saying Steiner just got bought by Fanatics. Yeah, maybe Fanatics. When are we going to get bought out? Let's just cash out and retire, Nick Jaspi. And that is indeed Al Simmons, who's not on this list. So we'll randomize this to one person in the break. Eight-time All-Star Al Simmons. We have a Ted Simmons on the list, Nick Jaspi. No Al Simmons. Oh, but that's Ted Simmons. <laughs> it's not Al Simmons. Al Simmons was an old Philadelphia A. Ted Simmons. I meant Ted Simmons catcher, old Cardinals catcher. From the six from nineteen sixty eight through nineteen eighty. And then with the Brewers for uh, four years. And then with it, he played from 1968 to 1988. Eight-time All-Star, Silver Slugger, and uh, St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Famer. I don't know how that reads head, but there he is. He inscribed it eight-time All-Star. Ted Simmons was an eight-time All-Star. All right, so who has Ted Simmons? Patrick Evans got randomized Ted Simmons. Al signed it for Ted. Al came back from the dead. He died in, Al Simmons died in 1956. Pretty young, age 54. So he came back from the dead. <laughs> came back from the dead on a pristine white baseball. 
signs Al Simmons, but writes eight-time All-Star. Taking credit for <laughs> for All-Stars he didn't have. Al Simmons was only a three-time All-Star. All right, next guy. We've seen this guy already. <laughs> Looks like, uh, who had this guy? Looks like Cody Passmore starting his Frank Thomas PC. That's his third one. That's, that's, a, that's a collection now. <laughs> Two, two is a duplicate, and it happens. <laughs> Three's, three is now a collection. All right, three more to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Almost there. This break took a little bit longer than I thought, but I think visually it's been pretty fun. Who's this guy? <laughs> Who is this guy? You know, I'm not very, I think Rex and I were talking about this. I don't think I've even heard of this guy before. He's a pretty old school guy. He's still alive. He's 85 years old right now. Yep, Robert Roar's got it, Nick J, et cetera, et cetera. Rocky Colavito, 85 years old right now. 85 years old. Lifetime 266 batting average, 374 home runs. 1,100 runs batted in, nine-time All-Star, Cleveland Indians Hall of Fame, hit four home runs in one game back in 1959. Rocky Colavito goes to goes to Leonard Yance. Leonard, who had the uh, who got randomized, Rocky in the player random. All right, two more to go. <laughs> Need to work out more. All right, there's your JSA card. And we've got, we've seen him already too, Hall of Famer Phil Necro. There's your JSA sticker back there. I think that's Stephen K with Phil Necro, right? Is that your second one, Steve? It is, he got Phil Necro in one of those player randoms. I mean, almost almost is it's it's pretty good, as good as the Joe DiMaggio maybe. Yeah, and Phil Necro is featured um, in that Knuckleball documentary, which you, which I think used to be able available on on Netflix, but maybe able to dig around and. It's a good baseball movie to watch over the summer. 
knuckleball. And fastball, too. Fastball features starts off with Bullet Bob and talks about the fastball and the early days of how they tried to try to measure how fast someone can throw. All right, there's the JSA here. All right. And it's another Tom Glavin. There's the JSA right there. There's his autograph and another Tommy going out to Jonathan Stevens. Nice break for Jonathan as well. And there you have it, folks. Four cases of the 2019 Gold Rush Autograph Baseballs. Thanks, everyone, for checking it out. Keep your eye out for more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.